Schmo with the pro with the one and only Brooke Hogan here in the flesh, WrestleCon, Dallas, Texas. How we doing? Oh my gosh, in the flesh, baby. It sounded like you were about to go do a Hulk Hogan promo there for a minute. Just one second, sister. The schmo's not up at that level yet. We're better doing the impressions of Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> but Hulk Hogan, your father, absolute legend. He really is. I'm about to tell him about your gimmick infringement, though. He's going to put you in a little headlock, give you a boot. <laughs> well, we're a little afraid of that. Now talk to the schmo for a second. What's your best and earliest memory of your father when it comes to WrestleMania? Because he's been involved in a lot of these things. I mean a lot. When it comes to WrestleMania, you know what's funny? I wasn't even alive, but I did just watch the match with him and Andre. And I, I've seen it before. I love it. I really watched it very carefully this last time. I was really amazed. I just did a post on Instagram like, I know he's my dad, and it's so hard to, you know, comprehend that he's this Michael Jackson of wrestling and this, you know, big recognizable star worldwide. But I'm like, oh my gosh, the work and the and the blood, sweat and tears and all those things, it's just, it's overwhelming sometimes to still watch it and see, like, I don't even think anybody today could lift that guy up. There's no way you could lift up Andre the Giant today. I don't know anybody that could. Everybody talks about that being the greatest moment in WrestleMania history. It's got to be. It's got to be. No biases over here, but it's got to be. I think that, I think that uh, takes the cake for WrestleMania moments. I think that will probably go down in history for years as uh, the best WrestleMania moment. So, but yeah, I mean, I remember dad doing the wrestling thing, lacing up the boots, you know, him telling us that it was ketchup when they would bleed. It's not ketchup, kids. <laughs> it's, no, it's not. The schmo was over at Bloodsport yesterday. It's not ketchup. It's the real deal. It, it definitely is. Now, you're quite the celebrity yourself, Brooke. What's been the best part of WrestleCon for you? The best thing that you've autographed so far? Oh, my gosh. Well, you know, we get people bringing in belts and all kinds of different things that they want autographed. Sometimes they'll bring in a sexy magazine that I posed for. But it's funny because even though I didn't wrestle, I did manage the knockouts for Impact Wrestling for a little bit. I've always loved it. I've always been around wrestling. And, and I think it's kind of cool because fa you can tell fans come in because... They know I'm a piece of Hulk. They know I'm a piece of Hulk Hogan. And just like kind of seeing me, they're like, oh my God, I loved your dad. It's so cool to be able to take those stories home to him and say, dad, somebody saw you, you know, at WrestleMania this, or they have a memory with you, or sometimes we'll run into old friends and I get to send him pictures while I'm here. So it's, uh, it's kind of like getting back together with your family. <laughs> family reunion. <laughs> family reunion indeed. And can we get a final message for all the Brooke Hogan fans out there worldwide? Brooke Hogan fans, I don't even know what to say. I do all everything, music, this and that, whatever. But thank you guys for being such loyal fans, especially the wrestling fans. Um, me, my family, we all love you, and we appreciate your support. We're all here because of you, so thank you. The multi-talented Brooke Hogan, she knows best, and she's the pro. I'm the schmo here at WrestleCon. It's Fight Fest.